Hello everybody, today is going to be the beginning of something new and something very fun. In my previous video, I asked you guys in the comments, I said, what is it that you guys would like to see in these videos? What is it that would be fun, entertaining, whatever have you, because I am a well, I've got most characters, I've done a lot of things, um, and I'm willing to change it up at this point. I've been playing the game about a year. So people pretty unanimously came back and said that they wanted to see me on like a new account or playing, playing for more beginner content, teaching the newer players. And I don't know about you guys, but I always really enjoyed um, kind of like Let's Plays or the walkthrough style plays where when I'm playing something, I the guy next to me is playing it too. So the goal of this here is not so much just here's a 10 minute video on a straight guide on Kel, on Apothecary, on Coldheart, you know, characters like that. But instead, you're gonna watch me actually play the game, starting through with a new character. And the goal of this is you can watch my thought process, you can see how I develop the teams and how I play through it. Now, these type of videos are gonna be done in addition to my typical videos. I'm gonna be throwing these on as well as like my normal guides and stuff that I'm doing on the main account. So if you want to make sure you're seeing these when they pop up instead of just the same ones, make sure you're subscribed as well as hitting the bell. That way you get every notification or else YouTube's gonna limit how many times they show you my videos if you don't have the bell on. Now this is gonna be the first one and hopefully it'll be fairly entertaining to you. And since it is the first one, let me show you what we're dealing with here. Now I got through the tutorial previously when Raid did like, remember I had that Raid sponsorship where I had to like get some downloads to the game, right? And we did that on Twitch. And during that time I made a new account and I named this one here DM Walkthrough because the goal of this one is to be that walkthrough style play with, with me while I'm playing. So that's gonna be the name of this character. And I went through and I picked up, I, you see how there's some rewards here, right? We have some of these rewards available uh, from just the freebies that we were collecting during that time that were out at the time. So we have a little bit to work with, but not too much, some arena refills, a clan bus token, six day, or excuse me, three days of experience. And, and you know, that's really about it. But we do have a couple shards here in the beginning. So. This is gonna be fairly exciting because what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by opening our three voids and one ancient. Yes, we should be waiting for the two X, but for, this, for the point of these videos, I'm probably gonna be pulling them as I get them. The reason is, is uh, in the very beginning of an account when shards are the most important, I mean, even mystery shards at this point matter because we basically have no characters. I'll show you what we have in the champion inventory here, which is uh, nothing plus this guy. Here, I'll show you. Look, we even summoned our first spirit champ. There you go, we have Gaelic and Sniper. That's right, I did start with Gaelic, I remember that now. Well, with any luck, we can replace him with some better characters. So as is a true DM video, we are starting the new slash free to play slash walkthrough, whatever account we wanna call it, with a five shard opening, or I guess six if you wanna count the other comment we posed. Oh look, it's mini Gaelic, AKA Warboy, or maybe that's mighty Gaelic. <laughs> Oh, I guess this guy gets a shout out for the follow. What rare do we get? <laughs> we get Death Channer, huh? 20% damage reflected shield, healing reduction, defense in arena. All right, unlucky on that one, but here we go. These are the big boy ones. We got three void shards. That's kind of cool to get these right off the bat on a new account. Okay, a rare. No way, yeah, we got Bellower, dude, on the first shard. Okay, that's great. That That's good because we had Kel, or we had Gaelic, so because we didn't start with Kel, it was gonna be a rough a rough start. So, uh, okay, thank God, that's gonna help a little bit there. It's gonna help us with, the, with uh, the campaign for sure. So we got lucky off the bat. Oh, an epic, let's go. And a Siwar, oh my God, okay. Oh, she, she, I didn't realize that she actually had an AOE basic. For some reason, I didn't realize that. And then she has, yeah, so she's good in arena. And, uh... <laughs> okay, that's pretty good luck for the beginning of this account. Okay, attack all enemies, attacks all enemies. So obviously we're gonna work on these guys, decrease the targets, turn me in there, okay. I don't know what to say, because we got lucky there, but I thought for sure we were gonna get like a hollow or what. Another epic! Oh, come on! What is this, what is this game doing? It's ruining my new account right off the bat, man. Uh, re <laughs> Streamer luck confirmed, man. I mean, can, could you imagine actually like starting a new account and having that be your first shards? Like Bellower into, I mean, Silar's not like game. I was like, okay, well, I mean, Silar Bellower, yeah, that's pretty good. But then Madame too, like that's, 
That's disgusting. I mean, imagine if this Madame poll was on my other free to play account, the one where you put Santa Claus. Okay, so but by basically, the, here's the plan. I just went into campaign. I'm in, uh, so you can follow along with me, right? Pull whatever shards, whatever goodies I had. Actually, a good thing I'm um, doing this. I forgot to actually do this myself. Go in here, let me grab these. Pow, we'll grab the energy while we're at it. I probably shouldn't have grabbed the energy. That was a waste. Get these. Okay. So now I have the campaign um, like banners on. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna try to beat the campaign on all. What I'm trying to do is beat it on um, all faux stars, okay? So sorry, this is different. Normally I like, I'm sitting there talking to the camera, but I'm playing the game at the same time. And so this is gonna be kind of fun. So what, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try the full star normal, which we should be able to do because we have two people with basic AOEs, so they should be able to clear the wave. We just gotta get some gear because we don't have any gear, so we'll slowly make our way through, make our way downtown. You guys shout out if you know what song that is. Try to clear all these, and then when we get the full stars, we get the extra bonus at the end. New champion, Bandit. <laughs> what does Bandit actually do? I actually does a decreased defense. Only 30%, but still, he's trying. So we're just using these two. These are the two that I want to max out first. Madame's cool, um, and she's obviously the best character we own at the moment, but I, I, need the, I need the double AOE on basic, I think, just to help me clear through these waves in the beginning. This is a nice start. If you didn't have Bellower or, you know, Silar in the pole, obviously you could just use whatever your star there is. Like I used Kel. Kel is great for the campaign. However, uh, Kyra Mobo started with Gaelic, just like I started with Gaelic in this account. And, ooh, level seven already. And you level so quickly in the beginning. Speed boots, we we'll actually keep those ones. And he started with Gaelic, and uh, he was actually able to farm with Gaelic all, you know, for a while. It wasn't really too big of a problem for him, interesting enough. Let's throw a little bit of gear on him now is what we're gonna need to do here. Uh, yeah, this guy's gonna get the speed boots, pal, or these crit damage there, nice. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, these are speed boots too, actually. So let's, ah, oops, I should've looked at these ones first. My bad, my bad. I'll waste the 10,000 because I actually want to keep these boots. And what we're going to do is we're going to level these up here. Get the speed for Bellower and hopefully crit rate. Attack will be fine too. But we are looking for the crit rate. The idea with your, your first farmer is um, you try to make them with as high as crit rate and as high as damage as possible. The stronger they are, the better chances they have to like one shot the wave. And that's kind of what speed farming comes down to is like one shotting each and every wave. That way when you're farming character experience, it is uh, it's much, much quicker. Trying to get to level 12 on these boots. I don't really care about the silver at this point just because we don't have very much of it. It's cool just to use it and I'm trying to get to level 12 to get one more row since it's purple. And I'm gonna say some really basic tips for the people that might be new in the game still. If you don't know the difference between the gear, like common gear doesn't start with any stats, green starts with one, blue starts with two, etc. And then you get as many bonus rows as the color of the gear, right? So if it's green, you get like one bonus row on the one stat. Blue is gonna be two bonus rows on the two stats, meaning you can get like two into one, etc. You'll figure out how it works pretty easily. There's plenty of venues covering that in more detail. I even have tons of the gear ones covering that too. You can find on my channel and every other content creator has those as well. So if you want more info on that, it won't be hard to find. Mostly what you're looking for is primaries, the correct primaries, a primary stat mostly just being the main stat on the item, like speed on boots, crit damage on gloves or crit chance, things like that. So it's the story, I don't really know what the story is. And to be honest, I'm not gonna spend the time to find out this time because every time that I go through these, I look at it, I try to figure out the story and it's really not that exciting. Now, War Priest is not too bad in the beginning. I've never really been like terribly excited by her. She has a little bit of a heal, a chance to freeze and then attack up. So we'll keep her, but she's not like terribly exciting. Now the offense set, it looks like I got crit rate and speed. That's good. Ooh, speed with attack percentage, nice. Attack percentage gloves, those are okay. HP percentage boots, that's a bummer. Uh, crit rate on the weapon there is okay. And the shield's kind of just okay as well. Eh, kind of did okay on the gear, not amazing. We look here, we missed, we didn't, we didn't manage to three star this one. So let's go ahead and throw some more gear on these characters. 
Silar is based upon attack, yeah? Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just gonna put these gear on her. There we go. Make her a little bit stronger. And let's try that battle again. Maybe we can get three star in this battle now. Once we beat the campaign, we get another chance as Shard to maybe get another good character. Madame can also kind of be our temporary defense down slash attack down for clan boss until we get, a, you know, like a real one. There we go. And now we got that three star. Tavern unlocked. Let's skip that. We don't really need to go look at that. So the artifacts that don't have primaries we need. And on to stage two. So I'm going to go ahead and start chewing through some of these campaigns. And that's going to be the next thing. We'll see where we get stuck at. If you get stuck, then what you really just want to do at that point is go work on your gear, go back to quests, go back to challenges. So that's where we're going to find out where we get stuck. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Once we get stuck, go back, re-figure out what to do. Okay, so dungeons unlocked because, let's skip that, we hit level 11 because we beat the stage seven of the sewer. Let's see what we got there. That's not too great. That's okay. That's okay. Eh. It's okay. Eh. Okay, so like half all right gear. All right, uh, we'll sell this one and we'll keep the rest for later. And yeah, we're gonna keep going. We're on chapter three. I'll show you where we're at here. We've got bang, bang, bang. We're here. We're going to collect the goodies and we're going to keep it going. I'm going to keep chewing through. Keep chewing through it with me if you are doing an account with me. And here we go. Also, if you're wondering um, what platform you can play on, you can either play on Player and PC, which is like uh, you can find online. That's their standard one. Or you can play through Bluestacks emulator. I use it for auto clicking. I'll put it at the top link. I'll have a link. So if you want to make a new account and join through the Bluestacks emulator and play with me, you can. And I uh, use that for overnight auto clicking. And they don't actually get you banned. I've been doing that on my main account for a long time. And they've even tweeted out that they don't mind if you auto click. So that's pretty cool. New character, Skoswire. Places a freeze if he's under a decreased speed. Really? That's kind of interesting compared with my Silar. I don't really think I'm going to do anything with that, but it is kind of, if this was an AOE, that would be kind of an interesting thing. Okay, that's level 12 and arena unlocked. And we're going to keep going. Okay, there's the Great Hall. Obviously that gets unlocked after the arena, level 13. And we just beat stage seven, but we lost our Bellower. So what I'm going to actually do here is go back and I'm going to throw on a few of these just for the health bonuses. That's all that I really care about here. We're just... If anything, we'll just destroy them later. And we don't care about the champion packs because we're not going to spend money at all. Nope. Nope. Man, there sure is a lot of them here in the beginning. Okay, we're going to go ahead and claim. Now, I will uh, talk about the sequential packs, like the level 10 packs, etc. And the wild card packs as they pop up just for people... Uh, who are starting a new account. Same. Look at all these pop-ups. They've really got to do something about that. They honestly do, because it's quite bad. Okay, clear stage seven, equip a rare artifact, etc. Get all these. There we go. Should we, we should have cleared most of the red dots, got the goodies. What's, what's the deal with the tournament here? What's going on with this tournament? Oh, we're in the new tournament, and it looks like first position is an Ancient Shard. Oh, look at that. And uh, if we get 1,000 points, we get... Is that five-star speed gear? That's actually kind of a big deal. You know, that beginning tournaments are not too bad. So I think I'm going to go ahead and work towards the beginning tournament, too. And now that we have a little bit more gear on Bellower, we're going to go back and try the two-star this one more time, and then keep it going. Okay, there's level 14, which, interestingly enough, unlocks you Faction Wars. I didn't realize that Faction Wars was so early into a game. Um, for some reason, I was thinking Faction Wars was like level 45 or something. You got it quite late. For that reason, that actually makes me think Faction Wars is a little better than I was originally thinking, just because you get, you know, I mean, some mild rewards for clearing through it. And, um, and uh, almost all the beginning Faction Wars are doable at some point. So I have to keep that in mind as I play, because glyphs are something that are slow to get. I mean, you're always time-gated. There's no speed farming those. 
So that, I'm glad that they actually add that in early. So that's something I'm learning here just as we go through. And by the way, adding the low basic gear to Bellower worked, picking up my extra gem rewards, and we're getting pretty close to our next Ancient Shard. So we're starting to lose people just going through the normal campaign. So that means it's probably time to go back and start leveling again. I'm gonna level the helmet in particular, because I'm just trying to keep Bellower alive, just give him more health, level the helmet. The boots when I can, but it's gonna take most of our silver. There's some HP, we'll get, we'll get it to eight. One more HP row would be nice. But just the flat HP is cool. We can row the shield, same deal, give him a little bit more health. Uh, no HP row, actually I thought this had an HP percentage row on it, doesn't, so at least we can get him defense maybe. Flat defense plus the defense percentage. If we row one time on, it would be cool. Otherwise, it doesn't really matter. He's so low level, the percentage doesn't matter too much. Just the flat stats will be good enough for the moment. I guess the accuracy is okay. And the chest plate will be important because it's HP percentage primary. Hopefully, this will make him tankier. Tanky enough that we can go through this without him dying. And, okay. Gained a little bit of health there. Let's go ahead and try that again. You can see here we failed on the last one. So let's see if that gear made any difference. Okay, that was pretty good wave clear so far with the AOEs here. We got very, very lucky that we got two AOEs like on basic attack right off the bat. It's gonna help a lot. That guy's name is Brawl Stars, what a name. You see, it's in Dylan Alton. Yeah, you know, I played that game for a while. That game's actually quite fun. New gear seems to be helping already. Oh yeah, he's significantly tankier. Now it's Silar who's in the trouble. It's amazing how much just a little bit of levels on some basic gear will do. Then it wasn't even close. And we got a uh, mystery shard. Tell you what, let's, let's go open the, that mystery shard because we got a few of these guys here. Maybe we can pick up a couple from, oh, the market's not open yet. Let's open these up uh, and we'll take a break with this video because this is a test run here. Oh, we got Boli. We got the most OP character in the game. Our luck is insane. So I want to know from you guys, is this series something you're interested in? Here, another Skull Swire. Maybe I will use both of them compared with the Silar. Is this something you're interested in? Would you guys enjoy a, like a walkthrough of me actually playing through the campaign and doing the challenges and learning how to beat my dungeons and like straight up failing and stuff like that? So if that's stuff you guys are interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments as this video was made today uh, because of you guys. This is something you guys wanted to see. So thank you for that. I love you all. Please do subscribe, hit the bell for more of these and I'll see you on the next one.